brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. One thing that producers are, are thinking about these days is we heard the number 300 bushels, and there's a lot of yield potential that goes into uh, the soil in the spring. Mother Nature has to cooperate, a lot of things have got to go right, but there's a lot of things farmers and producers can do to maximize that yield potential. Can you talk about some of the, some of the top recommendations that you make for producers as the, as the year carries on? I think what, what farmers have to understand first is that 300 bushel potential is already in the bag and as they grow that crop, that potential uh, is sometimes slipping away. I mean, the corn is adjusting to the environment around it, looking at nutrients and water and weather and all those types of things, and it's scaling its production down to what it thinks it can do out there in the field itself. And there's some fundamentals that have to be uh, underneath the 300 bushel corn crop. For instance, when we look below ground, we have to have the uh, soil situated so we get deep roots so we don't have compaction layers or density layers that are going to stop that root system uh, below ground. Uh, we have to manage that fertility, mainly pH, and, and making sure our pH is in a good range to create an environment that is conducive for 300 bushel corn. But phosphate and potash are very important as well. And then we have to plant a 300 bushel stand to harvest one and that's probably the most crucial pass the farmer's going to make all year is going out there and being able to singulate seed and put it in the ground so it has uniform depth seed to soil contact driving for uniform emergence so every ear every plant carries an ear uh, because it's ear count where this yield is going to come from and those barren plants out there end up being uh, weeds that suck up nutrients and that out of the field itself. Once we get the 300 bushel stand planted, then we have to stay with it, meaning that, that involves uh, paying attention to your farm on a weekly, if not daily basis, and monitoring the bugs, the insects, the disease issues that will come along, and probably the big one, nitrogen. Developing a nitrogen program that that corn plant doesn't have a bad day. And anytime a corn plant slows down or has a bad day or a bad week, yield potential is taken off. So having a nitrogen regimen that's going to keep that corn plant happy in the early vegetative stages and finish it all the way to black layer. And for some farms that's fairly easy to do, for others that demands quite a bit of management itself depending on the soils and the conditions that they're in.